Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to give you a quick look at expression, uh, where they are, how to use them uh, and what you can do with it. So let's check it out. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now. We're on the Fusion page and I'm going to show you how to use uh, expression. We're just going to scratch the surface. It's just to give you a quick look at the tool and not to use it because there is so much to uh, know about it and to learn about it. So for the time being, let's just bring a background node and I'm going to add a mask to it. And uh, it's just going to give us a circle to demonstrate how to use uh, expression in one way. So basically what expression are is just a box right here. If I right click on any parameter, you can do it with any parameter right there. You just right click on the parameter, click on expression and here it's open up that window. What that window does essentially is that you can add information in it and it will just um, give to that slider um, a certain way to react. Um, it's basically introducing coding into the software directly where you can just code a small direction that um, the software should take to do a specific action. So, for example, right here, I'm just gonna remove the expression. Right here, as you can see, I got this circle. So if I try to adjust here right now, I'm losing the circle shape because here uh, the width and the height right there are moving independently but I would like to link them together so when I'm adjusting it, uh, it keeps the circle uh, shape and it doesn't deviate from that. So right now, let's go back to our circle. What I can do is I can link the width and the height so it remains the same shape. Let's go with expression and here on plus, I can just click it and link it to height. And what it does essentially is now, every time I'm gonna move the height slider, as you can see, you can adjust the width like there in the same way, and we're gonna keep the circle shape. So let's move on and have the text right here. I'm gonna have one node text where I'm gonna do uh, fusion. Then I'm gonna bring another one uh, and I'm gonna do DaVinci. And then I'm gonna add another one and I'm gonna do a uh, color right here. Okay, perfect. So I have those three nodes gonna link them together and I'm gonna uh, make separation between uh, each of them oh. text let's put one here let's put one here so right now for example uh, where is the color test I have the color uh, right here in the middle what if I'm making that animation uh, so the size here going from 0 to 100 Let's bring it down. As you can see, I have a small animation right here. What if I would like this fusion and DaVinci to have the exact same animation in terms of size? So what I can do is basically, I'm gonna pin it right here so it stay in my inspector no matter what uh, node I'm selecting. So here, as you can see, I'm selecting not uh, text two, but text three is still here because I've pinned it. Um, so what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to link the size with an expression to the size of the color node right uh, there. And what it does essentially, and now as you can see, it keep the exact same animation for both of them. And same with fusion that I'm selecting next text two, uh, text one, sorry, I'm going to link the fusion text to the color text and here all three have the same animation so it's a great way to just do a lot of bulk action in um, a couple of clips uh, rather than repeating like the same thing over and over as mentioned before uh, i just scratched the surface there is so much more stuff that you can do with it uh, here if you click an expression and open that window you can essentially uh, tap on your own a certain expression for the slider to act in a certain way uh, you have to understand uh, all the principle works uh, uh, let me know if you would like to see a more in-depth video about expression i would be happy to do ones um, that being said thank you so much for watching this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe it very helps the channel and uh, yeah have a great day bye improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for davinci resolve check it out on the website videoeditorstudio.com